It had beady little red eyes. It chased me on my bike. It's as fast as a cheetah on Boom Boom Deuce. It killed my garden. Looks sort of like a prairie dog gopher mixed with a unicorn. It looks sort of like my grandma's teeth. It smells like a wet dog. It smells like my after pizza. Are they dangerous? Yes. Ancient hieroglyphs depict a strange creature. These images appear in ancient art throughout the world. This creature we have now determined to be the gopher corn. Here in this ancient rock hieroglyph, clearly, you can see the image of the gopher corn. Where did these creatures go, and why have none been seen in recent times? We set out to find the answers. Civilization has been pushing forward into gopher corn habitat, and bringing them closer to us and allowing them to be discovered. A group of specialists, like the world has never seen before, has joined together. Their goal, to find the goat for corn. Meet the team. Hi, I am Katherine James, and I am an expert on mythical beasts. Right now, I am studying the gopher corn. My name is Robert Robinson, and I work for the USGS. We have been studying this new species. The Navy has taken away most of our evidence. Hi, I'm Carlos Albert. I'm a cryptozoologist and I am studying the gopher corn. <laughs> the gopher corn is related to the gopher, the jackalope, and the unicorn. The gopher's size is about 20% larger than the ordinary gopher. Its claws are just like an average gopher, but it has a horn. Its fur is brown and thick. We believe the gopher corns lay eggs. They grow into the ground and cause many troubles, not only eating all the plants, but bite through power lines, causing blackouts. When times are desperate, they hunt down people. The gopher corn's populations are threatened by cats and ivory poachers. In China, their horns are ground up as medicine. Both of these horns were recently confiscated from poachers. Well, we have a horn right here. It's similar material to the jackalope horn. This is the bat ear 9000. I put it down on the ground and listen for the gopher corn. I think they use echolocation to find plants. Its mating sounds sounded like <coughs> When the predator comes by, most people assume they run like the average gopher. No, they fight back. Usually they impale the predator with the horn and bite it many times, probably giving it rabies. They don't like to be held, trust me, it doesn't end well. I've spent a significant amount of time staking out down in the woods, I've just been looking for this gopher corn. A team of highly skilled gopher hunters, including me, went on a mission to discover the gopher corn and prove to the world it's a real creature. Luckily, the government hasn't taken the tapes yet. But we are hunting for the gopher corns. This device here makes us so we can communicate to these animals. This device Makes it so we can hear better. Go for corn. Guys, I think we found another gopher corn. Go for corn. Go for corn. Go for corn. There's one right there. 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 Right
can hear them. Yes, you can hear them. Gopher Corns. Is that your real name? No response. Well, I think we should head up this way. Yeah, let's head up this way. Their horns are sharp. They can stab I them. mean sharp. Let's go. What's, an, is it a, what's, an, what's that right there? Oh my god. There's a horn. Oh my god. There's a horn in the ground. Oh my god. What are you thinking of? What is it thinking of? I got it. I got, I got the, oh, it went down. It went down. It went, that looks like something a gopher corn would dig, right? Yeah. That's a big bird. Oh god, there's Oh my god, there's gopher corn. Okay. I think I just, what was that? There's something just rustling in that bush. There's something in that bush. Come on. Oh my god, there's something up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we know what happened to Freddy now, I think, after he went missing on the stakeout. Yeah, that's his. Yeah, this is his shirt. Take it back to the lab.